Welcome to the 2018 IFCA Finish First Awards. $100,000 or less, Massa Construction Corp. The Terrain Building Gym and Yoga Room. When we got to this job, it was original, open, and crumbling. There was some gorgeous plaster work and columns and decorative trim, but it, it was in bad shape. And the goal here was to renovate while keeping as much integrity of the original look as possible. Framing it, this was a sea of metal in here. We had bump outs and turns going up and around every which way. The last portion of the job was the trim, which was by far the largest portion. The trim was not designed in the blueprint. Everything had to be figured out on site. The doors and windows were all salvaged. These back windows were replaced and we salvaged these windows to put in this wall right here. This job was definitely a job that doesn't come around very often. We got a chance to do some extremely interesting trim work. We had a big space to create a mill shop on site. I, personally, I've never been able to do something to this scale and, and to this quality in the past. And this is definitely a job that everybody a part of it was very proud of in the end because it looks gorgeous. Millwork, all walls and ceilings, ink, Barcelona wine bar. Basically the entire project except for the kitchen received very detailed millwork installations. For acoustical treatment, there was reclaimed wood placed on floating clouds in the ceiling. There were also floating tectum wall panels and floating burlap wrapped panels the reclaimed materials were either warped or twisted or had knots in them, which they like the knots, but you would have to go through three or four pieces to find the one that you wanted. There was even a point in time where they had to find another barn to get the reclaimed material from because they had run out. We also put together all of the tables and chairs at the last minute when they arrived one day. We knew we finished it up from top to bottom, complete 100%. Acoustical Ceilings, Blaze Construction, LLC, EMD Performance Materials. One of the things that they decided to do here to, to make it a little bit more uh, appealing to the eye and a little bit more fun is instead of just hanging straight panels. Uh, they hung them in, in different formations. So you have some panels that are angled and they create what they call a wave pattern or a wave formation. Uh, so it kind of looks like they're jumping out at one angle and then they just keep going and coming down at a different angle to create that wave. Around the perimeter of the building, the, the building actually slants and twists. Uh, so it made it uh, pretty complicated to uh, do all of the layout and uh, all the work around the perimeter of the building. It's difficult to install, uh, but very, very sharp uh, when it was all said and done. We had a, a unique layout tool that was all um, driven by computers that gave us the actual layout on the floor off the drawings. Once I had that floor layout, we shot that up to the deck and that's how we came up with the ceiling layout. Uh, the combination of acoustical and drywall and baffles and different panels is just a very nice combination the way that they put it all together uh, to create this open feel concept but still be able to deaden the sound by having enough uh, acoustical you know, ceilings and such throughout to, to deaden the sound. Drywall installation. The Rift Group. Independence Live. Independence Live is a customer service center uh, provided by Independence. 
for their customers and they provide health and wellness programs. It also includes a tech arcade and they conduct cooking demonstrations as well as they have a um, multi-purpose room for classes. The building was under construction at the time and not complete. By the time we started the project, the second floor where this is located was basically an empty shell. Some of the most difficult aspects of the project included the fact that the deck was at 30 feet and all the systems and the drywall systems had a lot of radius systems um, and soffiting that had to be, we had to integrate LED lighting in and other aspects of the architecture as well as there's uh, barrel ceilings. And Furniture installation. The Rift Group, AmeriHealth Administrators, Independence Blue Cross Operations and Call Center. We are at 1900 Market. The fourth and fifth floor was approximately 500 workstations and 65 private offices. The sixth and seventh floor was 700 workstations, about 30 private offices. Uh, we did all the lounge furniture throughout as well, and we also did 2,000 all steel beyond modular aluminum partitions. It was a pretty fast paced project, about 10 weeks. Probably one of the nicest spaces in, in the city. Historic renovation. Blaze Construction, LLC, Philadelphia Distilling. It's, it's a restaurant slash distillery. The condition was very bad. Old, dilapidated, ton of trash in here. Dusty, dirty. We did all the millwork installation, the bar installation, framing drywall finishes, all of the wood paneling. The most overwhelming to me was building the elevator shaft. Just looking at it and saying they want to maintain the steel girders and we got to do framing with inside and create a nice finish on the outside. Uh, we ended up having scaffold built on the inside of the girders and then we had literally had like one foot of space between the steel girders and the scaffolding. That's definitely a focal point of his job. Everybody comes in and says, whoa. <laughs> the windows around the exterior of the building uh, and having to work all the uh, stud framing and drywall around the, the windows and the notches and everything without interfering with any of that was a, a pretty difficult task. As well as building up this uh, monstrous wall. To see where it was and to where it is right now has just been a, an amazing transformation. Innovative use of materials. American Interior Construction and Blinds, Inc. Spin Philadelphia. It's a very unique space because they took a 12,000 square foot basement and really turned it into a unique venue. It's a venue for all ages to play ping pong. So some of the unique features are the chain link curtains that are hanging on the walls, the wooden clouds that we constructed on site that are hanging above the bar. We have the repurposed six by sixes on the bar front and the pipe group. The biggest difficulty was the space itself. Because we're down in the basement of a building in Philadelphia, some of the inherent characteristics like uh, existing concrete walls with steel sticking out of the walls, there was a lot of uh, steel that needed to be cut out, concrete that needed to be trimmed. And then of course we had to adjust our new construction to fit into that structure. Because it's not every day you get to do a club like this. It was one of the more high-spirited projects I've worked on.
I think the graffiti is great over our work. It really incorporated and integrated the old with the new. Our first ever tie. Sustainable Lead. Heartwood Building Group, Inc. and All Walls and Ceilings, Inc. Hill College House, University of Pennsylvania. Hill House is a 360 room dormitory for the University of Penn. This building was built by a famous architect in 1958, Eero Saarinen, and the University of Penn wanted to replicate his initial intent and design when they renovated this building. Also, they wanted to go after a lead gold status. This project was done in a short amount of time with 200,000 square foot of renovation to be done. So we brought on a subcontractor, All Walls and Ceilings, to help us with the specialty ceilings that, that really needed his expertise. I am honored to tie for this award with our wonderful friends at Hartwood Building Group. This building, its condition when we first started was uh, pretty, pretty terrible. It had been worn for 40 to 50 years and was in desperate need of updating. One of the construction challenges was trying to renovate the ceilings of this over a 60 to 70 foot atrium and completely scaffolding it yet work below it and around it. One of the high points for me was again the installation of the acoustical ceiling in the atrium area. All materials had to be brought up 60 foot high scaffold so that we could work and do the job as efficiently as we possibly could. When I walked in today, I thought the finished product looked, looks absolutely marvelous. Be over now. 